How to make sure you're making the most money out of your real estate is something that we love the most when we're selling property here at Onyx Homes. So let's kind of imagine this. Imagine you are selling your home the next couple of months and you're wondering what you need to do in order to max out your sale. I'm gonna give you an example that you can maybe tie to your property if you're thinking about doing this. And if you're a buyer, you might wanna listen in on the cues of the things that we always do to make sure our sellers are getting the most money possible. So it's something that to be aware of if you're a buyer. Here is really how we look at prepping a home for sale to make sure we're getting the most money possible. Is there are value adders that are over here and there are value subtractors that are over here. And what we're really trying to do is we are trying to remove as many value subtractors as possible. And we are trying to add as many value adders as we can without causing too much hassle or headache for our sellers. Now I'm gonna go into more detail on that, but let's talk about the rooms that are the most important in a property. There are five really important spots of any property and they are absolutely in this order. Number one is kitchen. Number two is the primary suite, also known as master bedroom, bathroom. Number three is the living room, dining room, and then yard or balcony space, whatever outdoor space there might be on a property. Those are the top five places. That's my personal uh, thought of the order as well too. Kitchen, primary, living room, dining room, outdoor space. Now, the reason I'm sharing this video is because we see so many sellers who don't get their agent involved or maybe they don't get their agent that knows what they're doing involved soon enough to where they go start spending money or spending time or putting work into places that don't matter, at least not nearly as much. So the reason for this video is if you're thinking about moving in the next couple of years even, this is where you might wanna put your efforts. Now let me hopefully drive this point home a little bit more is everybody likes an updated powder room, but everybody would much rather prefer an updated master bedroom. And you would not believe how many times we see little projects like that where clients are spending five, 10, or even way more money on just the wrong place in the house. So that's one of the major reasons for this video, but let's go into the value adders and the value subtractors so that you can go through your house with the lens of how do you add value while subtracting things that take away from value. So I've got two value adders that I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna share with you why there's only two. But number one is updates or renovations. That is the number one value adder is updating or renovating. Now you might be like, oh my gosh, Christian, I don't wanna go spend a ton of money on my house. That's totally fine. I'm just sharing with you the number one value adder. The number two value adder is staging furniture. So bringing a professional designer in and staging a home is the number two value adder. Now let's move on because not everybody's gonna want to focus on spending money, which is usually what's gonna happen on value adders. I personally always start with the value subtractors and we try to eliminate as many of those as possible. And a huge point here is value subtractors aren't the opposite of value adders. And what I mean by that is a lot of times people will see value adder of updated or renovated and think, well, it's a subtracting value if it's not renovated. And that's actually not true. It is an add if it's renovated, it's a neutral if it is not renovated, if that makes sense. So value subtractors are not just the opposite of value adders. It can be, for example, one of the value subtractors is a vacant home versus a staged home, but there's different reasons for that. So the value subtractors that I wanna share with you are obvious damages or that needs repair, right? Number two is a personalized home. Number three is crazy paint colors. Frankly, anything that's not a neutral color usually would be considered a crazy paint color. Another one would be dirty and then, like I said, vacant. So those are some major value subtractors. Now, are there more subtractors and adders? Yes, of course there are. I'm just sharing with you, frankly, the most common ones. So we've listed some of these, but there's definitely more to it. So let me give you an example of a property and what we would do to make sure we were spending as little money as possible to add as much value as we can. So let's say we had an outdated home with crazy colors and it's vacant. So somebody's completely moved out. There's some little repairs that need to be done everywhere. So we have an outdated home that's vacant, that has crazy colors and has some repairs that need to be done. Frankly, this is something we see all the time. Houses go on the market just like this. Now here's what we would do to this property in this order. So number one, we would remove all the personalization. This is removing a value subtractor, which then raises the value. Number two is we would fix the obvious repairs. This might mean bringing a handyman in. Maybe it's a contractor. You're gonna spend a little bit of money here, but you're not gonna spend nearly as much money as the value perception going down 
when there's obvious repairs. So that is removing a value subtractor, which raises values. Number three is we paint the neutral colors. Does this mean spending money again? Yes, it does. Unless you want to do it yourself, not recommended, but this removes another value subtractor as well too. And number four is adding professional staging. So we might have in this example, we probably spent five or $6,000, maybe six or $7,000 total, depending on the house. And this is something that probably adds if we did these four things on the property, I would venture to say we removed value subtractors and added value and to the tune of about $50,000 at least. And this is like on a normal median home price. So let's say it was a $750,000 townhome. If we removed the personalization, we fixed the obvious repairs, we were painting two neutral colors and we staged the property, that would be about a 50,000 at least dollar value added to the property and we would have only spent less than ten thousand dollars that's a forty thousand dollar profit on that value add now let me go a little bit deeper on each of the four we've got remove the personalization this is family pictures and the reason we want to do this is we want to make a buyer that's coming in be able to move into the home right we want them to mentally feel like this is a house not that this is your home so when we remove personalization, it allows the buyer to come in and picture themselves moving into the property, not picture all of the things you and your family did inside of that home, which can deter some people. So that's number one. Number two is fix the obvious repairs. While this might sound simple and a lot of people say, I wanna sell my house as is, that's fine. It's not really about the repairs. It's about the perception of what the buyer walking in that sees a vent that's falling off and is thinking, oh my gosh, what else is wrong with this house? So a $5 repair could lead to tens of thousands of dollars in perceived value dropping. I hope that makes sense. So it's not necessarily that the repair is lowering the value of the home. It's the perception of the buyer saying, what else must be wrong with this house if I can see that thing needs to be fixed. Number three is neutral paint colors. Believe it or not, this is very similar staging as well too. Most buyers, you might've been this buyer when you were buying your home, cannot see past colors. They also can't see past vacant furniture, so I'll tie in three and four together, is a lot of buyers just do not have the vision. If you've ever watched HGTV, you see an ugly house and you have no idea how it got turned into something beautiful three days later. It's hilarious how they make it look on TV. Most buyers cannot imagine a house going from this to this. They just need to see this, or at least they need to see the potential to get it to this. So that's why paint colors are incredibly important as is staging and i'll give you a quick story but first i have a pro tip for you is it is way more important to remove value subtractors than it is to add value adders this is the major reason why i didn't want to put a ton of value adders on the screen here is i wanted to talk more about removing value subtractors which is going to have help you spend less money and add more value to the property that's the pro tip now the story i have for you is a client that i was personally working with we looked at a ton of different property and we looked at two houses on the same street now these houses were both for sale at the same time and they were about the same price one was maybe i don't know five to ten percent more than the other one and we went into the first house that was the less expensive one and we walked through and it was a pretty easy 10 or 15 minutes it wasn't the best showing experience the seller was still there moving boxes all over the place uh, just a little bit awkward this is a forewarning to you seller should never be in the property and the buyers are there so anyway we walked through the property and it checked almost all of the boxes that my clients wanted they just didn't like the feeling of the walkthrough. Fast forward to walking across the street, we go into the second property and they were absolutely falling in love with it. The only thing it didn't have was the pool and the other things that the other house did check the boxes. And then what they shared with me and I asked them why they didn't like, they didn't like the first house we looked at that they loved the second house, it just didn't have the pool and the other thing they wanted. And they said the floor plan, they liked the floor plan better of the second property. Now here's the punchline. It was exactly the same floor plan. It was just staged and beautiful and painted and fresh and presented properly, the second one was, while the first one was presented very poorly. It was very dark, needed to be paint, needed a carpet refresh, and frankly, it needed staging, it needed the seller not to be there. So all of those things, the, it did not matter what was reality, the buyer's perception 
was they did not like the floor plan of the first one and they loved the floor plan of the second one and it was the same house, the same exact floor plan. So that's how big of a difference your, your neutral colors and your staging can be. Also just how a house is presented. Now, obviously a home that is completely remodeled and staged and perfect, that house is gonna sell more from the house that needs work and needs all those things. I mean, that's obvious, right? But it's also important to understand that that's why new home builders spend so much money on staging and designing their model homes. Because they're say, selling an entire development based on these four model homes. They spend a ton of, you would not believe how much money new home builders spend on their model homes, making sure that they're absolutely perfect, bringing in the type of buyer they want, so that people come in and buy home after home after home after home based on the feeling of being in that model home. Now, when our clients choose to hire us to represent them selling or buying or whenever they're representing specifically for selling property, what we love doing is we love going through a property and figuring out what are the value subtractors that we can remove without any level of headache or at least what is the lowest amount of headache we can have our sellers go through to add as much value as possible. Now, if you're looking for an easy option of just, hey, I want a cash offer, I want to leave everything alone, I just want to get out of my house in 24 hours, we have that solution too. So if you want a cash offer, you can reach out to us. But if you want the full service and go through all the different advice and a strategy session with you as a seller with us, there's a couple of different things you can do. You can reach out to us directly. But another thing you can do is you can go to trackyourvalue.com or there's a link down in the description. You can go to trackyourvalue.com and what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you for your information and you will get a estimated home value. So that'll be step number one is a home valuation, which as we know, you can go to a million different websites and get a home valuation. That's not super important. Really what it does is it gives you kind of a baseline or a starting benchmark of your home's value. Now, the next thing we do is one of our local experts or your Onyx agent, if you're already working with one of us, is we'll reach out to you and we'll figure out what are the upgrades on your home? We'll ask a little bit more information so that we can put a full professional custom market analysis together for you that'll give you a way better idea of what your home would actually sell for. Now, if you're actually thinking about selling your property, we'll bring you that cash offer, but we'll also talk through the entire process. So if that sounds at all interesting, if you're thinking about moving in the next couple of years, highly, highly recommend doing this. So you can either reach out to us directly or you can go to trackyourvalue.com and we'll see you on the other side. Again, my name is Christian Stubbs. I hope you found this valuable. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next video.